Hello friends, welcome to classes for engineering. In previous lecture, we have learned about the simulation of queuing system and experienced about various case studies about uh, regarding uh, regarding queue system, uh, regarding single channel and double channel queue. Now in this, uh, we will uh, learn about simulation of inventory system and after that uh, we will experience about its case studies. So let us start. Uh, let us start with the our uh, simple with our general example uh, this is the simple inventory system uh, let us suppose we have uh, we have to keep some inventory in our house or shop uh, that is up to m that is capital m here we have supposed and uh, after some period uh, that is capital n we will check uh, that uh, how much amount uh, we have uh, left in in that inventory so according to that uh, uh, according to the consumption of that inventory we will uh, order order the uh, order or we will order the same inventory at the end of the period n and uh, make make that inventory again up to level level n uh, now let us discuss uh, let us discuss uh, with this same thing uh, uh, let us discuss this thing uh, in our uh, diagram uh, diagram phase uh, this is our uh, graph uh, in uh, this will gives us more clarity uh, let us suppose that on x axis we have taken a period periodic time this is our time on x axis and this is the periodic time and uh, on y axis we have taken an amount in inventory now suppose we are going to start from this uh, line and uh, and uh, at the starting of at the starting of this period at the starting of this period we have a inventory of capital m in our house or in our shop and during the course of this period uh, we have consumed some some inventory in our house or we have uh, sold out some inventory in the in the shop so in the shop so so it reduces up to this point suppose uh, now now it reduces up to this point at the end of this period now we can now we can say that uh, uh, let us suppose let us suppose the inventory consumed is q1 this is the inventory consumed which is q1 inventory is uh, left out from the uh, capital m so at the end of that period we will order the quantity we will order the inventory q1 to make it up to again up to m so this is called a simulation of inventory system uh, now we have to discuss one more term here that is called the lead time uh, what is the lead time that lead time is the length of time between the placement and receptive order now we can see in this example that uh, at the end of the period capital n uh, we have uh, uh, we we have to require uh, we have to order quantity q1 q1 but uh, as but as soon as we have ordered the quantity q1 uh, it immediately we have received we have received a uh, material uh, uh, from the market and uh, complete its inventory up to m so there is no time lag between the ordering of the ordering of the inventory and ordering of the uh, there is no time lag between ordering of the inventory and uh, receipt of the order so in this case we have a lead time of zero so in general in many cases uh, lead time may not be zero because uh, every time in practical ways we know that uh, when we place an order it will take some time uh, to uh, to uh, to receive of an order so next uh, uh, next we will see that uh, uh, next few periods we will discuss here so that it it will gives us the more clarity uh, regarding uh, simulation in inventory system so let us consider another period uh, that is capital n and uh, now in this time the consumption goes to uh, we have started uh, in second period we have started the inventory from capital m and uh, during the course of period it reduces up to this point it reduces up to this point and uh, consumption of the inventory is q2 this time now there are two points here we have to discuss uh, that uh, uh, that this line uh, the consumption is negative uh, you can see that this is negative portion 
but uh, negative portion can also exist that because if in sometimes we have a shop that uh, customer orders the material in advance in advance and we will uh, we will cover that order in next lot or in lagging time so that is also possible in simulation in inventory system so in this case we have assumed that uh, order order is placed in advance and delivery will be uh, placed in uh, lag time during lag time or uh, during the next course of period next course of period so so inventory started from m and it reduces up to this point and at the end of the period we check that uh, we have uh, uh, we we have to order a lot of uh, quantity so we ordered a q2 quantity and uh, there is as there is a zero lag time so as there is zero lag time so it uh, immediately fulfills up to m inventory so if we consider next cycle uh, let us suppose uh, now there is a there is a consumption of only q3 q3 inventory so in the q3 inventory uh, you can see that we have started from m and it reduces up to q3 this point so order quantity is required at the end of the period n is q3 so we uh, we uh, as soon as we place the order we receive the order as lag time is zero here we are considering it so in this way simulation of the entry system takes place uh, you can see that we can further make the graphs as per the requirement so now let us see the features of inventory system uh, uh, how it is and helpful in our uh, day to day life or what are the features of inventory system uh, first point is uh, it helps to make us a budgetary respond budgetary respond of some house of, of some of our shop that it helps to uh, uh, find out the interest paid on the funds borrowed by to buy items or uh, renting of storage space or hiring of guards and etc uh, next we can say that uh, the total cost profit of an inventory system is the measure of uh, perf performance it helps to calculate the total cost of the system and accordingly uh, by changing the capital level uh, by changing the level of level m or length of cycle n uh, we can control our expenditures and we can uh, decide our profit and loss accordingly and next we can see that uh, in m comma n inventory system the events that may occur are the demand for items in the inventory and the review of the order at the end of each review period uh, when the lead time is zero the last two events occur simultaneously so this is the simulation of inventory system next in in, uh, in next video we will cover the case case studies about uh, simulation inventory system which will give us more clarity.